Hey there folks, it's Chris, that weird fish guy that's always posting videos on fish tanks and plants and all that crazy, crazy stuff. So in today's video, by the way, it's no different. Today's video is on f weird fish stuff. So today I want to debunk a myth that is sometimes talked about in the aquarium hobby, and that's the pothos plant. Is the pothos plant toxic to fish aquariums? Man, oh man, if I had a quarter every time somebody commented that on one of my pothos plant videos, I'd be rich. So let's deep dive into this a little bit. So a couple of fish tubers actually have posted videos. I don't wanna call anyone out, but they've posted videos claiming that pothos plants have become toxic to their fish aquariums and I have a hard time with this one, guys, because I have pothos in so many aquariums here in the house, and uh, it's kind of weird, but I've had zero issues, and it's like, um, I don't want to get, like, super scientific with this stuff, because I'm not really super scientific, and I don't have any test results or anything, but it kind of aggravates me because I have all these fish tanks, um, the house is almost full of them, and uh, I haven't had any issues, so it's just like... I don't know. I feel like we could put this myth to rest. Do toxic or do pothos plants in your aquarium become toxic? And the answer on my part is no. So to debunk this myth, the answer is no. I have this 125 gallon aquarium. Well, actually, let's flip the camera. So when people come into the house here, this is kind of like a focal point in which they see. This is a six foot long, 125 gallon aquarium. And as you can see, we have a little, a couple pothos plants hanging in here. Um, and by that, I mean, we have a bunch of them. And also a lot of people don't know this, but this tank is full of plant or full of fish. And you can't see it because it's just like, there's a lot of glare, but you can actually see a lot of the fish in there. See, if I zoom in, sorry about the glare. There's so much glare in this house because we have so many lights. We have like literally a grow light anywhere I can fit it. We have this aquarium light that I'm testing on these house plants, which by the way, it's working. This, uh, these plants were dying. And I told the girlfriend, I was like, hey man, just let me give it a test. I'll throw up just a, a cheap uh, aquarium light and lo and behold, it's working. You can see the spider plant is coming back. God, I keep tripping over this stupid rug, this stupid tip. Look at this, it's, so, someone's gonna die on this. And also came home from work today um, if you guys, uh, if you guys haven't subscribed to the plant channel yet, it's House Plant Therapy. By the way, I have started another YouTube channel on house plants because I'm becoming so passionate about the house plants. I'll throw a link in the description uh, to go subscribe to my other channel. But anyways, back to the story. So I came home and this palm was actually laying on the floor. One of our cats, we have three of them, um, has an obsession with this palm i don't know what the heck it is but this this cat just loves chewing on these leaves a lot of them are kind of like chopped up from his teeth uh but yeah he's on craigslist now so if anybody wants a free cat um just hit up the local craigslist i'm kidding of course but uh, i was so pissed to come home and see this like it's just so aggravating and now my plant is all like chewed up and it's just like, ugh. But yeah, guys, I'm rambling. I apologize. Um, just kind of giving you guys some updates. We got some cool new DIY LED grow lights up here too. Uh, we just did a video on this plant shelf. Uh, we did. We got tons of videos coming. So, and by the way, my main channel, Palmer Aquatics, just hit 60,000 subscribers. Isn't that really cool? Um, it really is awesome that I can do videos and you guys just kind of like, you guys watch them. I don't know, it's so crazy to me. So I guess we're gonna keep this one really short. Um, pothos plants being toxic to aquariums i'm gonna go with a fat no just because the whole idea of you know if you think about it uh the whole idea of like a certain kind of plant uh being toxic through the roots uh well here's my biggest argument uh a couple of the fish tubers have claimed that uh they've had pothos in their aquariums for like uh over a year and the fish just all of a sudden died and it's just like, why would the pothos just wait that long and then decide to become toxic? It just really doesn't make much sense. Uh, actually, one of my friends, um, TM Aquatics in Minnesota, actually claims that when he puts pothos plants in his Coriodorus breeding tanks, that his, his 
his Corys don't breed as much. And I trust him. I do trust him on that. But that's not to say that Pothos are toxic. You know what I mean? Guys, we gotta see this beta. This is ridiculous. This boy. Come here, come here, come here, buddy. Oh yeah, you see me. You see me in there, don't you? Come on, flare it for the people. Flare it for them. Yeah, that's our new boy. He's new to the household. We got him at Petco. Don't tell anyone. I do shop at Petco still. God, he's so beautiful. He's so beautiful, I love it. Don't even get me on started on betas. Oh, he came out, he came out. Look at that boy. Look at that boy, come here. Come on out of there. By the way, if you guys like betas, you should join my Facebook group, Beta Fish Keepers. It's the largest Facebook group devoted to betas. We got 130,000 members. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap this up. Hit up the comment section. Let's have an argument. Let's have a war on facts or experiences. I don't know. Hit me up in the comment section, like this video, subscribe. Um, so before you go, you gotta go subscribe to my houseplant channel. I'll throw a link in the description or you can search on YouTube, houseplant therapy. Mm -hmm.